everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose and today I finally have an outfits video for you. It's been such a long time but now with the change of weather it's starting to get colder outside and so a new wave of outfits are definitely bound to come in and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have put together. In this video I have a total of six outfits. Honestly I felt like I could have put 20 outfits in this video but I limited it to just six for now six of my most casual but also if we were to go out during the fall time what I would wear but most of it is going to be casual because you guys already know that is my style I love to be comfy love to be in some jeans love to be in some nice jogger pants and so I wanted to show you pretty much how I would be dressing for this fall with these six easy outfits so before we get into the video please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to like this video turn on the notification bell everything that YouTube is about and let's get into this what are some of my outfits for fall so lately I have been obsessed with these like pumpkin orange jogger pants I purchased them about two years ago from forever 21 and they were extremely big on me they still are but I decided to just embrace the baggy fit of these pants and throw them on with this really nice beige sweater. I purchased this from Zara also about two years ago. You probably have seen this in videos before, but um, I decided to throw it on with a black belt so that I can also tie in some type of black shoe and then also throw on with a black or brown bag. I love this idea of just having the total fall outfit. Um, I also like having my hair up only because the shirt is big, the pants are big, and then just putting my hair up in a bun with nice chunky jewelry, I feel like it kind of helps grunge up the outfit a little bit as opposed to if I just had my hair down. But if I did have it down, I would definitely want to wave it to kind of add some body to the entire look. The second outfit is this black sweater that I purchased from the men's section in H&M. It is a size small and I love oversized sweaters like this. So what I did was I just tucked them into these green joggers from Zara. I have been living in these joggers. I wear them so often when I go outside. They're comfortable, they're lightweight. I love that they're green. And then I just tuck this in. I have them on with a pair of sneakers and then this oversized jean jacket also from H&M. This is actually my first time owning a jean jacket. I usually go for different styles, but I figured why not try something different and I really love the way the jean jacket looks with this outfit. Um, I'm not really one to have hoodies because I don't like when they kind of knot up the back of my hair. But if you had a black hoodie and you put this on with the jean jacket and the joggers, I think that that will look really cool too. Uh, but this is pretty much what I would live in often if I were going outside during the fall weather. For this outfit, I have the same black sweater on from H&M and I decided to tuck them into these black mom jeans from Zara. I like these jeans a lot because they have um, a bit of a wash to them so they look a little bit vintage but they don't look gray which I really like. You can tell that they're black but they do have this vintage vibe to them. I just cuffed up the bottom. Personally, I like to do that to my jeans and because I'm so short, I kind of have to do that to them if not get them tailored. So what I decided to do was just have on this all black outfit and throw on this tan corduroy jacket from Zara. You guys have seen this in my previous videos. I live in this jacket. I wore it so much last year and so of course I'm going to be rolling it into this year as well. I've just fallen in love all over again with so many of my pieces. I think it's because of quarantine, because we weren't going anywhere and now that I can go back outside, I think I've just fallen back in love with so many things that I've purchased in the past. So here I really like this outfit going with the all black having these like more of a funky type of sneaker for me than I'm used to and then throwing it on also with the jacket and this would just be like my cool vibe we're going out for dinner maybe we're going to Williamsburg and this is what I would throw on now this outfit I really like for a daytime fall look at first I was a little apprehensive because of all the light tones but if you look around there's so many people who are wearing lights uh, light colors beiges whites nudes even during the fall and winter time so I figured you know what why not 
So I purchased this nude v-neck shirt from H&M. Then also the plaid shirt is also from H&M. And the pants are also from H&M. I just realized this is an entire H&M outfit. So I have the entire outfit on from H&M from top to bottom. They were not purchased all at the same time. But I really like this monochromatic of like the same tones of the beiges and the whites and the nudes. And then I also have them on with a pair of new, new Chelsea boots. If it were to get cold, I can throw on a denim jacket. Um, I may even consider the corduroy jacket, but I like just throwing the denim over. Again, I like layering in the fall. And so if I can throw over the denim jacket um maybe throw on a scarf if it got really cold then this would kind of make it feel even more like fall versus spring so definitely the accessories that you choose choosing a scarf is obviously going to make it look more like fall putting on boots versus having maybe flat shoes on those things will help make your outfit look more like a fall outfit versus a spring outfit but I really like the way that this looks. I can definitely picture myself with my hair down nice and wavy versus having it up in a bun. I would definitely put my hair down for this outfit. But I just love the way it looks. I love that the pants are a little wider on the bottom. Um, that they go flat or straight down versus tight. I don't really like white or light jeans that are fitted or skinny. So I do think that these pants are the perfect fit. So the next outfit I completely forgot about when I was filming this, so I'm just going to do a voiceover. This dress I got from Forever 21. Dresses, again, are usually not my style, but I just like this one so much. I feel like it's so fall. Again, I have them on with these brown Chelsea boots and then also the jean jacket from H&M. Here I'm showing you guys that maybe you would prefer this with a cropped or shorter jacket. But for me, I like the longer style jean jacket. I think it does grunge up the outfit a little bit because I think the dress alone could be a little bit too girly. And so for me personally, this is what I would do. If I didn't have my hair up, again, I would wave it or curl it. And then I would just use this as like a daytime outfit. But I like this dress. Usually dresses fall at a really weird length on me. But it's right above the knee, which I like. Again, I'm so short. I'm only 5 feet. So a lot of times I have to get a lot of my dresses tailored. Or I just never end up wearing them because I don't like the length on me. But I think that this one is perfect. It's just enough leg without looking, you know, like where are you going? And here I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like without the jacket. So what the sleeves look like. Just the overall style of the dress is really, really cute. And so this is another outfit. But I definitely got distracted because my husband ended up calling me. So you guys are going to see that in a few where I am talking a lot towards the end of this video. Because we were on the phone. But ultimately this is the next outfit. And we will get to the last one in a second. And the last outfit that I have for you guys is are these black pants, the same black pants from Zara. And they also are with a white racer tank. This racer tank is also from Zara. I purchased this in so many colors during the summer. I showed you all. I have it in black, nude, and white. If they ever came out with more colors, I would have purchased more just because of how well they fit. I wore these all of the time during the summer. And this is a great summer piece to now transition into fall because I'm wearing it with such a big, chunky black and white sweater. Now the tanks themselves obviously are tank tops. So you would be cold in the fall time with this, at least in New York you would be. But having this nice oversized chunky sweater really just makes it feel like fall. Putting it on with black boots or maybe black sneakers. Really you can throw anything on your feet with this but I would personally pick black boots or black sneakers. And this is just a simple outfit but what I've began to learn is that accessorizing is really taking your outfit to the next level. Wearing necklaces, wearing earrings, these are things that I didn't usually do, but I think it's because I focused a lot more on like my makeup being my accessory, my hair being my accessory, but now with us always having to wear masks, there's really so only so much makeup that you can put on. So wearing a necklace, wearing earrings, and just figuring out other ways to accessorize, to take your outfit to the next level will really make a difference. And so that is something that I am starting to venture into a little bit because again, I'm usually not one to accessorize with jewelry, 
but I am noticing um, just what a difference it makes in your outfit and making it look put together and complete. Those are the six outfits that I have for you guys for fall. These were the six that I wanted to show with you guys. Hopefully you already have some of these pieces or things similar in your own wardrobe and you can mix and match around with your items. As always, my key is to pick items that are minimal so that they can be mixed and matched with so many other things. I stick to a lot of nude or neutral colors, greens, blacks, whites, beige, uh, just so that everything can be mixed around. And once in a while, I may throw in a blue here and there. Uh, but that's pretty much how I like to style my outfits and then specifically this one for the fall. I hope that you guys like this video. Again, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one.